Hi, this is Pastor Billy Burke. So glad to have you today, here today on Your Word for Today. Sometimes the target of our faith keeps moving. What do you do when the target that you were aiming at suddenly moves in another direction? You know, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, their prayers, I'm sure, were, don't let us go into that furnace. But they went into the furnace. So their prayers no longer were, keep us from the furnace, but now deliver us from the furnace, keep us in the furnace. Sometimes we pray, oh God, I don't want this to be cancer. But the diagnosis says cancer. Oh God, but I don't want to have surgery but surgery is needed. Faith was released. Prayers were prayed, but surgery is needed. So the, the whole journey moves from, I don't want it to be, well it is, I don't want to have surgery, but I need to. And so the target keeps moving. We wanted a different outcome of this election and we aimed all of our faith and our prayers and a lot of hard work and a unified effort. It didn't go that way. We don't quit and we don't cry. Our faith travels well. We don't just don't quit and say we lost. We just don't quit and say, well, there was fraud. Whatever we believe about that, whatever we believe about that, we move our faith to the now moment. How do we occupy? How do we fight? How do we join the unified forces of righteousness in this land? How do we represent the Lord globally here in America whenever the target moved? And who knows how many times that target has moved? Who knows all of the warfare that went into? But God does have a plan. And before we talk about the global plan, there's a plan for you, and that is, don't be a faint heart. Nothing yet has shocked God. Nothing yet. He knew before we did the outcome of this election. Our first faith should be to do what the Bible says. Pray for all of those that are in authority. Pray for President Biden, Vice President Harris, does that mean that you vote for their policies and stand in agreement with them? A thousand times, no. It means you're obeying the written word of God, that we might live and enjoy a peaceable life. Well, how are you going to do that with all the stuff that they said? Because God can give us a life within a life. That's what God does. God can find a, an, an oasis in the desert, a Midian in the wilderness, God has a way of finding a remnant wherever we journey. And so the point that today is, that this is simply this. Don't shut down on your faith. Don't shut down on your prayers. We need to build a cover over this nation. That the eyes of the innocent would be protected. That the ears of the innocent would be kept harmless. That we would be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. As we walk in the harvest fields together in this year, 2021, not knowing all the pens are going to sign orders and, and whatever's going to be released, we too have the power to release. We don't always know the exact outcome on the exact day of that manifestation, but the releasing of our faith, we can say, Today I approach the giant. Today I say my prayers in the den. Today, I sing praises in the jail cell. Today, I call on the name of the Lord while thinking, potentially, in the outcome of this election. And I say, oh God, save us. Today, we can release our faith today. If that's all that we knew, know to do today, that's what we need to do. Because again, our faith travels well. It traveled to the jail cells, the dungeons of those days, it traveled to the lion's den. It traveled onto the island of Patmos. Faith travels well. 
faith is, you know, faith is fire resistant. We got to make it that, and we got to make it doubt proof. We got to make it defeat proof. In Hebrews chapter 11, the Bible says the great men of faith, they subdued kingdoms. They, they destroyed the lions and the tigers and, the, and all of those animals that were vicious and ferocious in that cat family. They faced impossible odds. They faced, they faced issues that they didn't agree with the outcome of the labor that they put in. But they did not quit. They did not complain. They did not get into every conspiracy theory imaginable. No, they stood tall. They released faith. They didn't release just faith as a feeling. They released faith in a promise. What travels well? Faith and a promise. God has promised revival in this land. God has promised deliverance. They were in captive for 400 years. Didn't look like that was going to happen, but it did. And then came the great exodus. Something so great, something so glorious is about to take place on this planet, and I don't want you to miss it. I don't want you to say, oh, I wish I wouldn't have quit so soon. I wish I wouldn't have been so sad. It's very important that you understand that this is a necessary time on the prophetic calendar. This is, we're in a necessary place as a church, as a remnant of people in this country and around the world. It's very important that you understand that your vote, yeah, but your faith counts. Every time your words hit this atmosphere, every time it pounds against the gates of hell, something, something in, in a, a miracle manner is released into the earth. Join with me, join with this ministry as we journey into these broadcasts, as we journey into getting back into public meetings. Our first big public meeting is coming next month, February 25th and 26th. That's right coming up on your screen. I'll be back with my dear friends George, Pastors George and Terry Pearsons at the Great Eagle Mountain International Church. Two powerful nights of healing miracle services. I'm so very, very excited. Oh, it's going to be an amazing time. Coming in March, I'll be with my dear friends Phil Durstein and Jeanette at the Christian Bradenton Retreat. And then later on that week, the first week of March, I'll be in Louisville, Kentucky for three great nights with, I believe it's March 7th, 8th, and 9th with Pastor Bob Rogers and the Great Evangel World Temple. We're getting back into the public crusade ministry. I want to see you, you make effort to be there. Especially this, this first one coming up on the 25th and the 26th. Get a plane ticket. I mean, get a bus, you know, caravan. Get a group from your church. Get into that service, the 25th and 26th at Eagle Mountain International Church. Bring your promise. Uh -huh. Bring your faith. Let's travel. Let's send a signal. Let's send a signal to the, to the people that have corrupt policies, to the evil empire, to all of them that undo all of the good work that's been done. Let's send a signal that we're bigger than one man. Yeah, we're bigger than one man. We're bigger than one man who was president. This is a mighty force of righteousness. This is people born of God, baptized in the Holy Spirit, filled with the written word of God. And we don't know any defeat. We know battle. We know, we know setback. But defeat, we are eternal creatures. Kill us and we live on. Make us sick and we'll reach out for healing. Take away our money and we'll sow seed and believe for increase yet again. Join with me today. We're going to be announcing some other future meetings as, we, as time marches on here, but we are fired up. We are fueled with a furious anointing to touch people once again, to see the heavens open, and to see people like you get a healing, get no more pain, begin to see better, hear better, 
and live out your days in strength. That's what Deuteronomy 33, 25 says, as your days, so will your strength be. So I tell you a thing. I tell you a truth. Let your faith travel. As the target moves, travel with the target. Oh, so you moved it. Okay, I'll aim my faith at that. Oh, so you moved it again. I'll aim my faith at that. Become relentless. Mm -hmm. Become a pursuer of the promise. And you will see the sweet victory that God has for you. That's your word for today. Join me again tomorrow night for another great virtual healing service cord at 7 o'clock on Facebook Live or YouTube.com. We're so excited about these services. We continue to put them on the calendar because we're getting an amazing amount of response. And it's people like you, and I thank you, those of you that are really praying that this would continue to take place, and many of you that are sowing seeds of all sizes. I can't thank you enough what you have done, how you have kept this ministry strong. Would you continue to do so? The number's at the bottom of the screen. Or you can go to billyburkdonation.com and sow that seed again this week. However you choose to do that, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you do happen to call, ask that one of those phone counselors, how can I become a global healing partner, a healing signal partner with Pastor Billy? We'd be happy to have you as part of the team this year as we really are making a conscious effort to send this signal further than the eye can see and the ear can hear. Not his eye and ear, but ours. Would you help me do that? Father, bless the people today. Touch them with your mighty healing power. Flow with that river of love into their life. Calm them. Keep them peace. Assure them that as the target has moved, so will their faith. And that faith will continually hit the target at hand. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Not by might and not by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Anyhow, that's your word for today. Always remember Mark 10, 27, with God, all things are possible. We'll see you. Bye-bye.